Resistance Temperature Detectors Resistance Temperature Detectors, RTDs, operate on the principle of changes in electrical resistance of pure metals and are characterized by a linear positive change in resistance with temperature. Typical elements used for RTDs include nickel, Ni, and copper, Cu, but platinum, Pt, is by far the most common because of its wide temperature range, accuracy, and stability. RTDs are popular because of their excellent stability, and exhibit the most linear signal with respect to temperature of any electronic temperature sensor. They are generally more expensive than alternatives, however, because of the careful construction and use of platinum. RTDs Common Types The most common type, PT100, has a resistance of 100 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius and 138.4 ohms at 100 degrees Celsius. There are also PT1000 sensors that have a resistance of 1000 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius. Resistance to Temperature Conversion the relationship between resistance and temperature is very nearly linear and follows the equation. For less than 0 degrees Celsius RT equals R0 times, 1 plus at plus Vt square plus Ct cubic times, T minus 100. For more than 0 degrees Celsius RT equals R0 times, 1 plus at plus Vt square. Where RT equals resistance at temperature T. R0 equals nominal resistance. A, B, and C are constants used to scale the RTD. RTD elements. There are three types of RTD constructions. In the wire wound element RTD, precise lengths of wire are wrapped around a ceramic mandrel, then inserted inside a ceramic shell which acts to support and protect the wire windings. In the inner coil element RTD, Wires are coiled then slid into the holes of a ceramic insulator. Some manufacturers backfill the bores with ceramic powder after the coils are inserted. This keeps the coils from shorting against each other. In the thin film element RTD, metallic ink is deposited onto a ceramic substrate. Lasers then etch the ink to provide a resistance path. The entire assembly is encapsulated in ceramic to support and protect. RTD Wiring Configuration Two-Wire Configuration The simplest resistance thermometer configuration uses two wires. It is only used when high accuracy is not required as the resistance of the connecting wires is always included with that of the sensor leading to errors in the signal. Using this configuration you will be able to use 100 meters of cable. Three-Wire Configuration in order to minimize the effects of the lead resistances a three-wire configuration can be used. Using this method the two leads to the sensor are on adjoining arms, there is a lead resistance in each arm of the bridge and therefore the lead resistance is cancelled out. High quality connection cable should be used for this type of configuration because an assumption is made that the two lead resistances are the same. This configuration allows for up to 600 meters of cable. 4-Wire Configuration The 4-Wire Resistance Thermometer Configuration even further increases the accuracy and reliability of the resistance being measured. 4-Wire Kelvin Connection that should be used in all RTDs. It provides full cancellation of spurious effects and cable resistance of up to 15. Can be handled. Actually in 4-Wire measurement the resistance error due to lead wire resistance is zero. Self-heating effects. The current, I, passing through the RTD sensor, R, dissipates power, P, where P equals I squared R. For example, 1 milliampere through a 100 ohm RTD generates 100 microwatt. This may seem insignificant, but it can raise the temperature of some RTDs a significant fraction of a degree. A typical RTD can change 1 degrees per milliwatt by self-heating. To watch similar useful videos, kindly like the video and subscribe to this channel.